Hey guys, Cypher here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. Now, this is the Bakugo figure that I talked about last time in my uh, Deku unboxing video. True to form, I couldn't really resist, so I ended up getting it anyway, although I probably shouldn't have right now. Anyway, we're just gonna jump straight into it. So, here we go. This is, it's um, from the same brand, uh, Banpresto. Um, but it's not uh, the same one as uh, this Deku. If you remember me saying, this one is from the second movie. This one, uh, it says figure Colosseum. Uh, not specifically from anything in particular, I don't think. I mean, on the, it's got like a academy on there. And then just show you like the wall sides. So then yeah, on the back. The actual figure, how it looks, and then all the information there. Uh, don't know who this dude is. Um, don't know whether he's like the creator or something. I might look into that. Um, yep, but yeah, we've got the Bam Presto sticker there and all the information. And more oh, side view, that's got a nice angle. I like that. So as you can see, this is a pretty beat up version of Bakugo. Um and I just thought it kind of would look good along with this Deku, and I think it's on a similar kind of stand, although I have a feeling it's slightly bigger, but we'll see. I also have noticed with some of these figures, just saying, like, you can get a grayscale version. I mean, personally, I don't know why you would want that, but I'm sure that's the thing. Um, this is also from Amazon, by the way. This is the uh, whole thing I was trying to do about figures, comparison, like, from Amazon and then, like, proper Japan, like, imported websites. So, let's get on with this. <laughs> Be nice if I had scissors on hand. Okay. Okay, so just slight observation. It's, I mean, depends how critical you want to be with these things but there is an ever so slight damage to the box itself but really as long as the box is in one place one piece <laughs> one place um that doesn't particularly bother me so obviously i rate more like on the figure itself which is obviously the main thing So there, same thing as Deku, I'm going to move him there because otherwise I feel like he's going to get crushed. Okay. In the box. Again, no instructions, but hopefully it'll go better than it did last time. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Ooh, wow. Okay, I'm already very impressed. Okay, so I've just moved the camera a bit, just hoping that you'll probably get a better idea. So Deku, if you just move. There. Okay, uh, like the other one, we've got different compartments. We've got the stand, uh, the lower half, uh, the body's actually in two bits, so you've got the lower half there, top half, which is also covered in bubble wrap, which is nice, and then the head, and I'm already, I don't know if it's gonna focus, but you can't really see, but I'm, I'm already very happy with that sort of kind of expression. So we're just gonna jump straight in. I don't know if that's a very good angle, I'm mean, I'm not professional. <laughs> okay, so if you see on the base there, I don't know if you can in the light. That's very difficult, I don't know. It's like an impression on it of the academy thing. Actually, you might hit that. From. There you go. So you see that, which is nice. Um, okay, there's ever so slight little scuff and uh, like finger marks but again it's a stand not the actual figure so I can personally let that slide okay I'll just put that in there because that's the easy part right. but this figure already let, looks incredible actually for what it is I say for what it is but you know okay so got the lower half there all the detailing all looks really good. Got his belts and everything. I just oh I don't I just I love I absolutely love Bakugo's um costume. 
it's like you know, you've got the, you've got the orange popping out from the from the black, and it just it's so cool. It's just so cool. <sighs> right. Okay. Now we've got the upper body. Just move that over there. Okay. I'm just gonna carefully take this off. Uh, it was wrapped. It was wrapped round the gauntlet bit. Right, let me just. Uh, I think. I mean, that's. You can see it's slightly kind of. Just gonna focus on it. Not me, please. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so this is slightly curved up, and I'm feeling this might drop over time. Um, just a minor detail. Everything else. The pattern. Paint looks really good. Okay, so you can sort of see on the body, there's little scratch marks. And on the bracer and obviously on the costume, there's some ripping. And you can actually see, I don't know if you, inside the gauntlet is the actual bracer, which is a quite a nice detail considering that's inside, so you'd think you wouldn't see it. Um, but you can actually see on the inside and you can see the bracer on there. So they've obviously made the arm with the bracer and then put the gauntlet on it, which is really nice. And then you can see like cracking detail and just like damage, battle damage on the gauntlet itself, which is a nice little touch. I really, really like that. Okay, so uh, I'll just pop that on there because that's also supposed to be easy. kind of nice when it's stiff because you know you know it's not gonna be right I have had I don't know which figure it was I had a figure before where I put it on and it just felt really loose and then sure enough the head kept falling off so that's not a good thing speaking of heads back onto this ooh, ooh, hang on didn't cut it out far enough ooh. Nice, okay, so right off. If it's gonna, I can't really see unless I. You're gonna focus? Good. Okay, so we got like scratch marks on the face, which is nice, half the mask. You know, I really like that expression because, particularly with Bakugo, I find, me personally, all the figures that have been released are just. The costume's great, but then the face kind of just lets it go, and obviously he has very. <laughs> expressionate, I don't think that's a word, um, very expressive faces, let's put it that way. Um, so, you know, trying to sort of get that detail or that look across is, I think, a bit difficult, but from what I'm seeing from here, I really like it. It's still not really focusing very well, I don't know why. Okay, and then you've got the damage on the, I think we call it the headpiece fin thing. <laughs> Piece. And you've got like chips in it, and then you've got on the second one you've actually got it like missing, which is nice. It's kind of cool actually because I've always wondered how that actually worked. So the whole thing is like a one piece, yeah, because like that's the other part of the mask from this side, so then that attaches to the bits at the back, which it just is a whole one piece thing, which is cool. Also, and I love his hair, that's always another thing as well, with the hair. Like, even as a cosplayer, like, doing his hair, like, I do not envy, which is why I spent money to get a styled one. <laughs> okay. So, that's a bit... I think the head always is the worst part, because it's like... be quite stern with it. Oh yeah, I also got about like the neck piece bit up here. It's got like little damage bits in it. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. So the end of the gauntlet actually touches the hair. So you can move it so that it's a bit more free, but... And that looks like it's on properly. Nice. And then last bit, obviously, is to just put it on the stand. Okay, hang on, hang on. Oh, hey, which way does this go? Okay. 
Uh, okay, so it's a shaped one, so... So, hang on, I can't really see. So the shape's like that. Of course, there would always be a bit that I would struggle with. Yes, no? There we go. Right, we're in. Move the camera back so you can get a better view. And there he is. Finally have a pretty good looking Bakugo Katsuki. And I've got to say, it looks amazing. I'm very impressed. Yeah. He does wobble ever so slightly, but that's fine. Okay, and let me just put it in comparison to Deku. So he is slightly bigger. Um, I'm just gonna really focus on them. Me. Okay, so yeah, Kachan is definitely bigger, uh, like width-wise and height-wise, roughly-ish the same. Um, but yeah, he's definitely slightly bigger. No, oh, definitely, like, right off the bat, 10 out of 10. Like, I really love this. It's a lot better again than I thought it was going to be, because I always presume the worst. Um, and I just, I just love the detailing, like, you know, he's got, like, little battle scratches and stuff, and... His costume's obviously torn, and yeah, he just looks really, really cool. I think I definitely will get one with like that has an explosion coming out of it at some point, but no, I'm pretty impressed with this. Uh, any like extreme criticism? The paint in some places, like I don't know if it's meant to be like on the bracer um, on this side. I don't know if it's really good to show, but you know, it's it's a little bit. I don't think it's actually showing up on the camera, but um, I suppose you could say it's a little bit thin, maybe. Uh, but, yeah, maybe on the glove as well, slightly. But, overall, generally, the detailing is really nice. Paint works good. The figure itself looks good. Everything's there. There's nothing missing from what I can tell. Yeah, it looks really nice. I just, yeah, when I just saw like the battle damage one, I was like, that would be really cool to have. And yeah, you can fight alongside Deku. So putting him aside for a minute. So with this one, definitely give it a uh, 10 out of 10, in my opinion, because like I say, everything's there. It looks really, really nice. Um, paint work, I would just say probably it's not a hundred percent perfect but again depends how critical you are with that kind of thing it still looks nice and from a distance and that's if you want to scrutinate it up close which generally i'm not too fussed about personally myself so price wise this one was between i think it's like just slightly over 21 pound free delivery um which is cool considering i went up to london the other day recently i went to the forbidden planet shop and they actually had a load of my hero figures there uh this one included um and it was going for 28 pound which it's not a lot of difference and you know if you're one of those who prefers to buy in a shop then i'd say that's your best bet but considering i bought this online from amazon pretty good so from what I'm seeing so far like in terms of actual site wise um, I think it doesn't really matter to be honest I mean if you'd rather be sure and know you're paying um, for quality and stuff then I'd say go ahead and buy on like any kind of Japanese imported website um, and I suppose it is only right that sometimes you do buy from them because obviously these are their products um, and having been to Japan and bought stuff from Japan, I have felt that that's been worthwhile, but yep, I mean, I've got no qualms buying from Amazon or anything, so yeah, definitely 10 out of 10 on both of these so far, and uh, the collection's only going to grow. I've got several more that I would like to get at some point, and I still will do like an unboxing in them. There may be some things that need to be reviewed <laughs> I don't know and also it's fun I'm not gonna lie to you 
this is all fresh i've not looked at this i literally got it today and i've opened it and hoped for the best so this is a genuine reaction guys so really i'm sort of still looking it's like my hair academia these are probably like be the ones that i do in the future but obviously if i do decide to get any others i will i mean i'm still look i'm looking at demon slayer at the moment and even fire force and other stuff like that if you haven't seen them i highly recommend um but yeah um that's all for now guys if you like these videos and obviously want to see more do hit the subscribe button i suppose the notification bell whether it works or not we don't know anymore <laughs> if by chance you have any questions or anything about i don't know anything to do with this uh yeah be sure to leave a comment down below but just as a summary i'm very happy very cool and definitely worthwhile i will also leave a link down for these both actually i mean i do have the video of deku so if you want to look at this one there's also that one no i would definitely be leaving good review because amazon don't actually generally for figures i've seen have many reviews so i'll definitely be doing that and once again i'm gonna put him up right there next to the others he looks pretty good Again, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh,